Hi everybody, welcome, welcome back. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Jimmy and this is Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. Today, five minute video max, right? We'll see. Anyway, it's um it's like November November 27th. I hope everybody had a wonderful, safe, family filled Thanksgiving. Um, we did. Um, I'm back here. Excuse my noise. I'm back here in the in the uh, bee shed, and uh, let me read today's fortune, and then I'm gonna just show you what's going on because it's crazy here, in Central Virginia. Anyway, um, da -da 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 your courage will bring you honor. Your courage will bring you honor. There you go. So take that for what you will. Your courage will bring you honor. Anyway, what's going on today? It's 11, oh, 20, 27, not the 28, the 27. Um, the bees are flying. Let me get rid of this. And uh, put the seven. The bees are flying. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 30 degrees. If you'd like, I can play a rejuvenating guided meditation every morning. Would you like to enable this routine? No. No problem. Alexa, what's the temperature outside in Celsius? Right now, it's 13 degrees Celsius. Tonight, expect a low of minus 1 degrees. Thank you. Okay, anyway, so right now the bees are flying, right? This That's the only thing I wanted to show you, but I do that all the time. Um, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's, it's crazy out here. This is the end of November. It's supposed to be like cold, rainy. Yesterday we had rain all day. But uh, let me show you how much the bees are flying. That's the bees from the uh, yellow hive, which I have next door, which I call the storeroom hive. Coming in and out of the uh, hive gate. Now let's take a quick walk to the um, farmhouse. This is the activity in front of the farmhouse hive. So, 55 degrees. I have my salt water, which some of the bees are still drinking from in this bee buffet. However, I turned off my fountain here. Uh, because I didn't, it was it goes down to freezing at night. And I don't want my tubes to get frozen, so I disconnected the timer. I blew air through the line to get all the water out, so that just sits idle. But that's the hives. So that's pretty much the hives. That's what's going on today. Now tomorrow. Our high temperature is only going to be uh, 45, I think they said, for the high. So I probably won't have that much activity. But right now, both hives are, are bursting. There's a lot of bees in there. Uh, I think they're pretty much set for winter. The last video, you saw me put the uh, fondant on top. Um, what I didn't do um, is I take my dry erase marker and I trace the circle of where they eat, where they have eaten. So I trace the circle and then I write that date. So uh, my plan was to do it tomorrow when it's cold. That way I wanted to suit up. Um, but I'll do it tomorrow and I'll show you that. 
uh, maybe in a quick video or something. But I, I draw a circle and I put the date so that the next time I look at it, I can say, okay, they've eaten this particular much, however much, uh, in however long of a time period, whether it be a week or two weeks or whatever. And then I'll know, okay, if I'm not going to attend to them for two weeks, put a new pack on and it'll last or whatever. Okay, it's a quick update because the last time I put the fondant on, I didn't show you how I marked the fondant. Plus, I stopped at Lowe's and got some more double bubble. So, uh, let me show you how I filled up this cook cavity here. Um, just took this off. But I just accordion all of this double bubble in here. So that's just giving extra insulation. Remember, insulated um, inner cover here, foamed in and a uh, um, styrofoam insulated outer cover. Now, having done the, uh, like I did last year, I drew a circle around where the uh, level or where the bees have eaten to, and I wrote the date. That's today's date. So now if I come back in a week and they've eaten all the way around there or further, then I can, um, then I'll know how long it's gonna last and how long I have before I gotta change it. So let me layer this stuff back in here and uh, go to the next one. See if I can get you guys just to see how I'm layering it in. All I did was I cut a whole bunch of it, right? And I just fold it in and layer it in. That'll provide a lot more insulation. Put on my lid and my strap. of the strap good to go let's go to the next okay is my double bubble roll and uh here's the fondant um it's a big square actually i can't really see below the label because i again cut this one on the wrong side however i marked it what i could see the bees are at i put the date today's date and now I will basically just fill up this upper cavity up here with some more layers of double bubble. And that'll be fine. It'll close up and stay up there. The bees can't get out. Got an ant. Insulated inner cover here. I've got a wooden um, plywood glued on, but I filled all of the voids in there with some um, the spray foam. And uh, that'll be it. So I know I'll check it in a few days. A week or so. Oops, I just hit you guys. What a difference a day makes. No bees flying whatsoever. The other day, they were flying like gangbusters. All right, that's it. So I just wanted to do that quick update. The roofs are insulated, extra insulation. I'll leave that on. I left it long so that if I need to reuse it for my daughter's hives, I can cut it. 
or reshape it, whatever. Use it later. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. I'm Jimmy. Keeping bees in a regular old neighborhood. Yeah, check it out. I got no back fence. This is what the neighborhood looks like. Couple of hives and uh, great neighbors. And it's cold and windy out here and I'm going in the house. I'm a backyard guy. I can do that. I can come out to my hives five times a day if that's what I choose. So just being a regular backyard, two hives going into winter, I can do those kind of things. I understand the people who have, you know, 10 hives, 20 hives. You're not going to really do all of that. Well, you may or may not. But if you have 10 or less, this is a good idea if you use the, um, the fondant packs. Because you may not remember or one colony may eat faster than the next. And you might have to replace that one. But if you can glance in and say, okay, this is good. This is good from the wheat. This one, oh, they've ate, eaten twice as much as everybody else. Well, that might be a hive that you need to investigate further. Maybe they don't have enough stores or whatever. So that could be an indication for those of you who have uh, more than, you know, just a few that like I can remember the two hives I have. So that's just another tip and I'll show you that. And I, I'll link back to a video where I showed that uh, last year. Uh, also, it'll be at the end of the video, the little box that comes up right over here or over here or wherever the box is. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, sharing the videos, liking the videos, subscribing, even the comments. Thanks for all of that. I appreciate um, all of it. Um, while I, uh, my nephew or my 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 nephew in Louisiana, he's uh, eight years old, nine years, nine years old. Uh, he said, Jimmy, Uncle Jimmy, you can get, you know, a thousand subscribers. And I was like, well, if it happens, it happens. But I just hope people learn, uh, get an idea that they can do this, like, just by me showing it. He says, I want bees. I said, your grandmother and your dad, they don't want bees. <laughs> so... He won't have them at his grandmother's house and he won't have them at his house. But if he ever comes up here, we'll get him in a suit and we'll get him out there uh, working with the bees. So Kai, come on up. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, again, oh, I got to write this. This is, uh, I, 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 I got the most, the important thing here, but that's not the most important thing in January because the 28th is Sharon's birthday. So I got to write that down. So I don't forget. Uh, uh, anyway, that's it for now. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And again, hope you had the safe, family-filled, fun Thanksgiving. We did uh, with family. I'll put a quick picture up here. And... Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at the Honey Bee Expo, and uh, this will be my first one, so don't know what to expect other than watching previous videos. However, this whole new venue that they have in Louisville uh, is, is, is going to be new for a lot of people, So, and it may be some changes. I'll see some familiar faces. I'll see some people I met in Ohio, Greg uh, from Nature's Image Farm, Brian, uh, maybe Bruce from Alabama, uh, Bruce's Bees. Um, so hopefully I'll see you guys again and get to meet a few other people, Philip, RTX in Texas. Uh, so anyway, looking forward to all of them, Jim, new subscribers, the whole works. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go and do something. I don't know probably mini cooper related uh, while it's a nice day all right talk to y'all later and have a good one oh and have fun with your bees even in the dead of winter well the beginning of winter <laughs> <laughs>